your perception of yourself usually does become a reality because you let it. That's great that you're starting to uh, change your brand, change your identity. That's all good. Man, it, it's amazing how well, how big of a difference that can make in just how you think about yourself. Think about it. Most of your thoughts are derived from what you see in yourself. Usually when you look in the mirror, right? That's true for me. If you change what you see in the mirror, you're going to change your thoughts. In 2016, when I first started changing how we dressed, my hair was still really short, but I was wearing a jacket with the flower and the big bright pocket square and the no tie. I just started reinventing myself and we filmed a little commercial. I didn't even really know what I was talking about. I, I did, but I didn't like, it was not good. But I look at that guy and then I look at like the person that I'm looking at on my screen right now with next to you and that's two totally different people. Why do we think talking to ourselves is a bad thing? That's a known, like that's everybody. Talking, it's almost like if you get caught doing it, you're embarrassed. When you hit, say something to yourself out loud that's ridiculous, you, it's almost like you, you hear it, so you record it, you save it, right? But you don't save your thoughts. If you thought had negative thoughts about yourself all day, every day, like most people do, if you said them out loud, you'd probably catch yourself and think, good Lord, I'm the most negative person ever. We drown in our own perception. What's the old saying, perception is reality? No, perception's mistaken for reality. And your perception of yourself usually does become a reality because you let it.